You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, YNR fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt and poor Ashley Abbott seems to be totally losing it these days. Her trip to Paris has pushed her to the very brink of her sanity. And Tucker McCall, meanwhile, is swearing to Audra Charles that he is in love with her. But I suspect things will shift and he might ditch Audra and run back to his ex soon. Hey, please click subscribe if you have not. And now let's talk about what might send Tucker scurrying back to Ashley and away from Audra. So even though Ashley heard from the Paris people that Tucker did not rage and break things, she just could not seem to believe her ears. Tracy was skeptical as well, so she even stayed behind and tried doubling the bribe to shake the truth out of the wait staff, but they did not budge. So she concluded that he did not, in fact, pay them to change their stories. We've seen these nonstop black and white flashbacks showing what each of them remembers. Now, though, it seems it is Tucker's version that was accurate unless there is some preposterously improbable Parisian plot at work that I think no one's interested in. So I have been back and forth on this issue as things progressed and as more information unfolded. I did believe Tucker and then I doubted him. Of course, now I'm back to my original impression. I should have stuck with my gut to start with. Um, I do let them manipulate me because, you know, that's what good drama does. It manipulates your perspective. So I also think, though, Ashley is still Tucker's victim to some extent. I talked in another video recently about Ashley's mental state being fragile, along with Phyllis manifesting some disturbing behaviors that might be helped with diagnosis and therapy. And I talked about why I thought they both needed an intervention and a timeout. I do think Tucker McCall is a huge narcissist. And I do think being married to someone like that can mess with your head. So We have Ashley this week confronting Tucker again, him mocking her and then her realizing that he is with Audra now. She clapped back on them, accusing Audra of sleeping with Tucker and Kyle Abbott at the same time, not not literally at the same time, like not in the same room, (laughs) two on one, but that, that Audra was seeing them at the same time and was being intimate with them both, that there was an overlap of relationships. Ashley rolled her eyes, called them classy, obviously not meaning that, stormed off. I don't think Ashley Abbott is going to be able to get all of this out of her system without some serious therapy. Maybe she even needs a little time out at Fairview Sanitarium. What I do wonder is whether Ashley coming totally unglued will bring Tucker back to her, whether she wants him or not. I I don't know if Tucker wanted to see his ex-wife in this fragile, manic, anxious state. What I do think is that Tucker might want to show her that she can't function without him. I think he wants her to see she's nothing without him at her side, that life's not worth living without him there to share it with her because narcissists think nobody is as wonderful as they are. Now, whether Tucker deliberately tried to trigger a mental breakdown in Ashley or not remains to be seen. Given how terribly he has behaved in the past, I wouldn't put it past him. I just don't think he meant to gaslight her into a total nervous breakdown. And yeah, I know he wasn't gaslighting her about Paris, but that doesn't mean he wasn't gaslighting her about a bunch of other stuff. Right now, Tucker keeps repeating to Audrey that she's the woman for him and he doesn't want Ashley anymore, says he's totally over her. He also told Audrey he loves her. But I just wonder if Tucker's repeating all this to try and convince himself or her that it's true. I mean, he staged his whole big dramatic return to Genoa City back in 2022, specifically to win back Ashley. And it actually worked for a while. But when Ashley decided she wanted no part in conspiring against Jabot or even competing against Jabot. He got angry. And then when she wanted to abandon the idea of Glissade competing against Jabot because she wanted to actually go back to Jabot, that's when he really lost it. That was what caused that very argument that we've been hearing about for way too long. So Ashley's family tried to do a little intervention on her this week. It, it was a fail. Diane told them they, they were very ham-handed with it. I feel like 
like things are about to get worse. Thursday of this week, Ashley gets a painful reminder of her past. I, I'm guessing that's something to do with her two past nervous breakdowns where she had to have serious treatment to get over. They've got Ashley Abbott, I think, in the middle of a complete and total meltdown. And I wonder when it happens if Tucker leaves Audra and goes running back to try and help Ashley or if he just goes running back to enjoy the show. I tend to think deep down Tucker still really loves Ashley. Remember that scene? It was, gosh, like four to six weeks ago, maybe he and Ashley were arguing at the GCAC. He walked outside and he broke down in tears. His heart was breaking. I mean, it was nice to see he had a heart that could be broken. I feel like he really loves her. And I think he wanted to hurt her because he feels like she hurt him. Tucker really feels like she betrayed him and chose her family over him. And that's what sent him spiraling into bad behavior. But I don't think he meant to send her spiraling all the way to the mental ward. Instead, I think once he finds out how serious all this is and how bad she's doing mentally, he may feel sick and guilty about pushing her too far. And I think Tucker will have regrets. And I do think he would ditch Audra in a heartbeat to run to Ashley's side if he thought she would let him. Unfortunately, I don't feel like this is the end of Ashley and Tucker. We'll see. One silver lining is Eileen Davidson generally doesn't stick around too long. So this Tucker-Ashley angst should end soon. I suspect after February sweeps, Ashley may exit Genoa City again because Eileen Davidson is not on contract, just occasional recurring. I do wonder if Tucker might go with Ashley when she leaves. I know a lot of people would be happy with that. But he may be staying around because Trevor St. John is on contract unless something has changed and things do change. His contract renewal date should not be until late September of this year, but we'll see. What do you guys think? Will Tucker bail on Audra and run back to Ashley if she is hospitalized for a breakdown? Drop your comments. Please click subscribe if you haven't already and definitely come back soon because we are here talking YNR seven days a week. And as always, this this has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thanks for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 